Greg, how does this game turn against your club after what looked like a decent start? Yeah, the first period wasn't a problem at all. We thought we had a good start. We were focused on our game plan. Um, you know, we spent quite a bit of time in their defensive zone. Coming out in the second period, uh, I don't know if the team felt a little comfortable with how the first period went. Uh, we started to get away from our details and our game plan a bit, and they stepped up. They started working harder. They started finishing checks. They started making life hard on us, taking away time and space. Uh, and we didn't answer quick enough, and things got away uh, from us too quickly there in the second. What was your message with the limited ice time for the Darga Chinsev line, uh, or, or was it just uh, something that occurred in the game in the second period? Uh, I don't think there was limited ice time. There was just a special team sometimes and getting lines back together. Uh, it's a bit of a juggling act, but there was no intention of, of limiting their, their ice. Next one goes to David Sisko. David. Hey, Greg, thanks for doing this. I was just wondering what your thoughts were on the Robertson and, and um, SDA uh, combination so far and what you thought the two of them have brought to the table. You can definitely tell that they have chemistry. They find each other on the ice really well. Uh, you know, they're, they're generating offense, and at the same time, they're working really hard. Their defensive details, they've had a couple good tracks. Uh, in the last game, they had a good track. Uh, reload off face off loss that counted back for a goal. Uh, so there's some there's some really good things that they're doing as they're growing to round out uh, a full game for themselves. And last one goes to Nick Barden. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Greg, I know you've talked a little bit about like the second period and how you guys have sort of lost your touch in that period in particular. What are some of those things? And I was wondering if you could elaborate on it as well. Yeah. I mean, the second period is one of those one of those periods. Uh, your D zone's far away. It's hard to get line changes, especially for the defensemen. Uh, teams just genuinely have to manage that period a little bit safer. Uh, we can't create all the turnovers that we create to fuel teams' transition. We had too many pucks trying to be dropped or turned over at the offensive blue line. In the first period, we gained a lot of our O zone because we were working to grab depth into the zone, put pucks in behind their D. Uh, establish our four check and then get going with possession inside the zone and second period uh, felt as though our, our players were too focused on making plays uh, trying to get too cute with it at times when uh, you know we talked about before the game that they're always having three at the blue line sometimes four there's tight numbers there's not a lot of space to make plays on entry uh, and we just got away from our plan and our details for that period.